Okay, um, I'm not going to show you all the uh, unboxing that we did for this guitar, but you can see it came in one of those angular boxes. This is a Bad Cat model AC230. Just showed up. It was ordered on a Saturday. It shipped on a Monday and it arrived on Tuesday. So it took about a day from when they shipped to get here. They apparently have stock of these things in the United States, out in Ohio or Kentucky. I'm not sure. Anyway, it was very fast. Um, it's actually like a replica of the old Dan Armstrong Ampeg uh, clear acrylic base. You may have seen pictures or movies, uh, Keith Richards and the Rolling Stones using them. A lot of guys have used them. Um, so, let's take a look at the guitar and the features. Number one, the headstock. The tuners are Bad Cat branded die cast tuners. They look to be okay. It's got uh, the typical scarf joint here, which is fine. A maple neck. It uh, advertises to have a rosewood fingerboard, which uh, looks to be true doesn't matter too much to me but it seems to I'm not sure if the nut is plastic or bone or what but uh, it seems to be okay uh, fret wise frets seem to be all right uh, nothing in the way of fret sprout I will know uh, once I do a setup uh, how low I can get the action before I have fret buzz uh, it came out of the box a couple minutes ago uh, with uh, pretty decent action and you know it seems to play okay uh, these are the stock strings I think they put uh, 10 to 46's on here uh, let's see it has a single humbucker uh, however with the switch the switch will make it uh, will activate the rear or bridge single coil in the center position humbucking mode and in the front position which would be like the neck position it's giving you the neck side single coil and master volume master tone jack and uh, this model this particular guitar came with uh, this strat hardtail type bridge as opposed to what you would see in the website which was a wrap a wraparound wrap tail type bridge they they said they found that this was a little better design than the wrap tail so they switched it to it with their latest uh, batch of guitars it also shipped which was nice with these strap locks which I presume will be pretty decent we will find out so in any case it's uh, everything is in good shape I don't see any flaws. There's no cosmetic flaws. No setup flaws that I can see. Frets seem to be okay. Um, pretty accurate representation of the amp, uh, the, the uh, Dan Armstrong Ampeg uh, clear guitar. Uh, in fact, the weight-wise as well. This is a pretty pretty heavy guitar. I would say this is a probably the, the weight of a solid unchambered uh, Les Paul. Uh, I compared it against a, a 1977 uh, Yamaha SG2000 which is a heavy guitar and this actually would seem to be a little heavier than that so if uh, holding heavy guitar is a problem for you it's not for me but if it's a problem for you keep that in mind that this is this is not a lightweight this has got some heft to it okay I'll, I'll take a break come back and I'll Plug it in and see how it sounds. Bye. Okay, so we're going to give it a little sound test uh, before we start. Wanted to make sure you knew the most important thing about this whole video is the high quality guitar cable that you get with this guitar. They give it to you for nothing. 
uh, along with actually some uh, some tools for the toolbox to do uh, all of your adjusting with. So just remember that value add. All right, so we're gonna start out just playing a little bit uh, with a clean guitar uh, sound. And uh, again, uh, when it's in the back position, it is going to be this back portion of the humbucking pickup, this coil here. Uh, and this is essentially, you know, how it sounds out of the box. And just a few chords. <laughs> to the opposite end we will choose bang bang we'll go to the front single coil pickup let's see what that sounds like what that sounds like <laughs> is now gone so we're thinking this is going to be a humbucker sound <laughs> still very, very clear, very chimey, not exactly what you expect from a humbucking pickup. So it seems though, whichever position you're in, you're getting a very chimey, almost telecastery, bridge position type sound out of the pickup. Uh, let's put on a little bit of gain and see what happens to the sound. Here we are in the bridge single coil. We get some more hum. Okay, and this would be the humbucking mode. Again, the, the hum goes away. And I actually have all the volume and tone for all of these you know, all the way up. kind of bright thinnish doesn't sound like your typical humbucking thick wide pickup sound um, 
have to figure out what that's all about. But all positions seem to work. Uh, tone control, roll it all the way off. Works. Let's bring it up just a little. see if that's exactly by design or not in terms of the setup the neck was completely straight when I got it out of the box it's okay uh, gave it a little neck relief which worked fine so the truss rod works fine uh, nut slots were were pretty good I lowered a couple of the slots just slightly check the intonation adjusted the intonation check the action, lower the action, did all the normal setup things. Um, it plays pretty well. Uh, tuning stability we are going to see as time goes on. Again, these are new strings. I probably need a little more stretching out, see if they stabilize. If not, uh, it could just be the quality of the strings they put on. But we'll uh, at some point restring, stretch, reset up and then see how that works overall it's a pretty solid instrument it seems well made you know there's no screwy gaps and things that don't match up so I, I would say it's in that regard it's fine right now the only real question I have about the guitar is the wiring of the pickup for the humbucking mode because I was kind of expecting it to be you know a thick solid humbucking sound that you would hear on a Les Paul ES335 SG type thing in the bridge position. But we shall see. But overall for the money, pretty good guitar. So that's about it and take care.